Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We're cooking with gas. Today, we're going to talk about first level financial freedom. This is where you have to be to start the process because there's levels to this. It's more than one level. <clears throat> there's a bunch of levels. So one of the things that you should understand is seeking financial freedom. Freedom comes in stages. It is not just this one thing. This one size fits all. It's not that. Do a little <coughs> A little housekeeping. Look, you want to start a business. And we've got you at Hustlers Kung Fu. Tomorrow is consult day. So let me go ahead and fix that. Tuesday, I set aside some time to talk to people. And this Tuesday, if you want to talk to me, let's go ahead and book a consult right now. <coughs> what you call that? Chit Chat Tuesday? We could call that the day of the Mac, the day that we discuss your business. So tomorrow is Consulting Tuesday. So let's talk about these levels. The first level of financial freedom is to replace your job income, whatever that may be. You need to replace that. Uh, one of the things that you need to do is take whatever you make, create a goal, and this is job number one. Let me tell you how I did it. First of all, in 2009, I was writing this book. Good Lord. Hold on, let me make sure I got. Okay, I got that. In 2009, I was writing this book. And I was going to try to replace a lot of income. And this eventually happened, but it took a minute. The first year I made $62,000, which did not replace my storage auction income. The second year I made $92,000, which did not replace my storage auction income. The third year made $1.5 million, which easily replaced my storage auction income. What is this? Good Lord. Don't even know what that was. It was crazy. All right, looks like we got that. So, one of the things is there was levels to this. Let's say you make $2,500 per month. One of the things that you got to do is to create 
additional income of $2,500 per month, which could be very hard, which could be um, daunting because no one's ever told you that you had to do that. So that's your first thing, because once you're able to replace your income, that creates a little bit of freedom, just a little bit. Because at this point, you can kind of calm down. When I wrote the storage auction book, I had a lot of people who exceeded their income because of the storage auction book. And they were eternally grateful because that's the first thing is you, you got to do. That's the first level. Replace your current income. Because that gives you kind of all kinds of options that opens up the doors for you that creates a lot of different things. So one of the things that will happen is your confidence level will rise. You become very confident. It's like, man, I'm making more money from my side gig than I am from my main gig. So this will create a greater drive, motivation, because see, once you hit that first lick, once you pull off the hat trick of replacing your job income with your side hustle income, you will want to do a lot more. You will be driven to do a lot more. You will be so amped up and you will be figuring out, because the, the, the key is to do this while you still have a job, because this is going to give you, this is going to double your income. This is going to give you the money to stack, save, invest. So th this is one of the reasons. Because there, there are levels to this, man. There's levels to this. And so many people are trying to do it all in one move. Just like, whoosh, it's done. And the journey is going to be hard. The journey is going to take a lot of effort. The journey is going to take a lot out of you. So one of the things you have to do is stay on point. You're going to have to really stay on point. One of the things that you should do is keep records and make it like a game. Like say your income is $2,500 and this month you made $1,800. That was like so close. Next month, I'm going to kill it. And then once you start to exceed your job income, you want to maintain it or exceed that number, which bring us up to the second level. The second level is you're going to make 10, 15K a month. This will be life-changing. This will be so life-changing because what will happen is you'll have more money than there is month. You heard that expression, I got too much month at the end of my money. You won't have that problem anymore because for those of you who go ahead and get, let me go ahead and point y'all in the right direction. Make sure y'all get, get the right info. All right. What you could do is wait until the weekend for a sale, or you can go ahead and get on this six pay. Money management's the basics of finance and wealth development. It's going to be like a car payment. You get to drive the car while you're still paying it off because it ain't yours yet. 
The bank's still on it, but like this, you have full access to the course, and I guarantee you that this will be the boom shaka laka laka. So go ahead and get the money management course. That's gonna that's gonna change your life. It's gonna change your life, man. It's gonna make you so much money. All right, so another thing. All right, so the first stage is equaling your income. Second stage, ten to fifteen thousand. The third stage, you're making more money per month than most people make all year long. Let me say this again. You're making more money per month than most people in the United States are making all year long. And you, you, you have so much going on with this. Once you reach that second level, your life is going to change. Your life is going to become so rich, so positive. Like your, your chick break up with you, you'd be like, okay, you have a nice life. Hug, hug, kiss, kiss. It won't even break you. It won't even mess you up because, you know, your life will be on this track of success. Because when I got to the third level, and there's levels after the third level, I was like, man, this is crazy. I made more money than most people make all year long in one month. That's crazy. See, that fourth level, that's when you're going to be making 100K per month. I flirt with that. In that fifth level, you're going to be making seven figures per month. And these are the levels that I have been able to climb to. Just flirting with them, you know, here and there. But what's going to happen is some of you who are participating in the chat today, before, you know, before the end of next month, you'll be making, you will have your job income equaled. And this is a big, big thing. Because when you look at how the average person thinks, you know, we're here on YouTube, we have our own language, we have our own code of conduct. But if we were to go ahead and approach people out there in the real world, and like three to four years, you can have a business. They're gonna beat you up. Like, no man, it ain't that easy out here. It ain't that easy out here. And for them, and their lack of fundamental skill sets, it is not that easy. See, a big part of this is understanding the human condition and your relationship to it. Because, once again, once you crashed, cr I mean smashed, just obliterate that first level, these other levels are going to show up. You keep pushing, you keep grinding. They will show up. Because when it happened to me, because this was the promise that I made to myself when I wrote this book but on YouTube. I'm giving myself two years. Two. Little two. And either I'm going to make this writing thing a go or I'm going to give it up. Was at the crossroads. But I gave that up because I started to feel better about the food I was eating, and that made me perform at a higher level. So, because essentially, you guys are going to need, like I said, you're going to have to work like a demon just to have a pick a side hustle that's going to give you the money just to equal the money you make on your job. And what I want you to do is put 10% on that number to account for dating and talking to chicks. Because they will come for you. They will come for you. Come for me. They will come for you. All right.
Friday. I don't know what I just did. But I don't want that. You know, sometimes when your fingers get a little busy, you be messing up. Are y'all seeing this screen where I minimize and all this other stuff on here? Because I'm trying to get out of this without disconnecting. As I was saying, Mr. Stewart was very protective of his daughters. He had four of them. They were probably the prettiest girls in the neighborhood. And Earl... Earl never got to that first level. He never got to the second level. He never got to the third level. He damn sure didn't get to the fifth level. But Earl was a good man. And if you, you know, you were trying to mess with one of his daughters. I remember this dude, he was being so fresh to Wendy. And she's like, no, 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 no. We ain't doing that. No, 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 no. Then here come Earl, like a gangster, and toned him up. All right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. I think I fixed that. So you will be the man that you want to be, not the man that you were assigned. All right. That's over. Thanks, people. Ben the bartender, what do you mean no extra incomes? All right, so I'm not such a minimalist. I just don't have a lot of stuff I don't need. Short change, keep your hustle money at home, not in the bank. I would disagree with that. You guys have got to start getting into the banking system because, you know, cash is nice. Cash is very nice, but it's going to create a problem for you down the road. So you're going to have to account for that. It's going to be part of the landscape. But start getting into banking. The basic money management course teaches you the five checking account method. So you, you don't want to be one of these people who can't get a, a bank account because one of the things, and this, this goes into the levels, once you have your job and you replace your job income, your banking is going to change a little bit. You could bank your whole check and pay your bills with your hustle money. You know, there's so many things you do. Yeah, I know. I got rid of that. So I'm not a minimalist. I just don't have a lot of stuff in my life I don't need. Yeah, I had opened up a window and there was another live stream window. So I had to slow down because I didn't want to hit the wrong thing and have it... uh tripping because the computers you know Google AdWords has always been a little flaky just a little bit (laughs) 
they will uh but once you reach the first level you're going to need a bank you're going to need a credit union or something to park your money unless you want to be walking around with massive sums of money on you and make yourself a target if that's what you want but hey you heard it here first uncle g told you not to do that yep 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 i did that i said don't do that went on record had a bunch of people clowning me talking smack who's laughing now I know how to do broad marketplace analysis. You guys just know how to do analysis on one little part of it. Because when you're doing Google AdWords, you, you, you will see what I'm talking about. Because I know a lot of you will be doing Google AdWords. We'll be doing Facebook AdWords. We'll be doing Instagram stories and stuff real quick. So, let's see. All right, that's a non-starter. All righty then. Have your computer ever broken while you're in the middle of something and you can't figure it out? But you got to figure it out. It's going to bump the live stream. Oh, yeah, it'll terminate this bad boy. Apparently, it has something to do with the term of service. I'm not selling you any drugs. I'm not selling you any weapons. I'm selling you computer paper. Sheer madness, man. Sheer madness. All right, let me move this out the way. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I got like fumble fingers. Well, I did not say anything about not having all your money at home. I said, don't just do your hustle money. This is how, nah, he'd be mad if I told his business. But this is what wealthy people do. All right, short change. You used to have two banks had a shooting account at home to spread my money out. See, when you go through these levels, you're going to change. And the people around you will notice the change. Because at first, when your side hustle equals your job income, a lot of stress and pressure goes away. When you hit that second level, deuces, you out. And you hit that, you know, and you hit some, most folks never hit level three and four. And level three is an investor. You got a business or something that's going on. And then number four is the tire shop, Firestone. So it just depends on what you want, how you want to set it off, how you want to go. Because what's coming, like at the beginning of this clip, I can't get to it. It showed, you know, this woman, she was terrified. And this guy was pointing a bat at her. And she just screamed and climbed in the trash can. How much you put in the stash weekly? Hopefully you hide your stash. Because I've seen a lot of people. When I was in the West End, this guy died. 
and was going to his house, one of the firemen pulled out a brick or a rack, and they all went over there and they just pulled out, pulled out 150 bricks. So these guys got that going on. The guys that are supposed to assist them isn't very sharp. So that creates a disharmony. So that this does it doesn't bode well for you going to the next level. And the next level, 10 to 15 K per month. At 10,000 to 15 K per month, you can live where you want, eat what you want. When I was making that, I ate out every day. You're not supposed to do that. Oh yeah. They didn't, they took that credit card. Jazz, YouTube be letting y'all down. YouTube does not send notifications to all the subscribers. Don't know why they, they be that way. So you just rewind it from the beginning to the end. You won't miss nothing. So, you usually put 500 bucks a week in your hustle fund. I, I would think that we, uh, Chaz, I'm working on multiple income streams. You got to nail down your, your primary income stream. You got to nail that down first. Because if you over here pollinating this flower, pollinating this flower, you're not going to get the uh, max effect. You're just not. <laughs> yeah, it's going very slowly this far. That's normal. You, when you start a business, when you try to go to these monetary levels, you're doing something you've never done before. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a struggle. A lot of people are get are taken aback. It's like this customer did not show up, and they on the phone. She sounded so nice. You going to let that go? Because one of the things that happens is that people become so fixated on what someone else did that they don't know what they they don't know what they could do. What's up, Benjamin Hotep E L? What's up, Benjamin? Okay, I don't know what y'all talking about over there. Y'all having a side conversation. Do you know anyone that's in these levels? Because typically doctors have to be married to get to this level. Well, that went well. Trying to figure out how to scale. One of the, one of the things that you guys got to do, focus. You got to focus. Because trying to scale multiple businesses, it's not for the faint of heart. What's up, cousin Tito? Man, I'm not going to do that video because the thing is, we have a lot of people who are unbanked. 
And this is why now you see all of these banks inside the supermarket. People only have no excuse. Uh, 10,000K deposits. That's why you put it in a little bit at a time, man. Oops, that's money laundering. Well, I do live streams mostly, so I like them. How did you get to earning 10K per month? Wow. Well, first of all, once you build your business to equal or make a little bit more money than your job, that means your skill sets have gotten up here. And you might need to cut that job, like cut that job back. Cut or just cut it out. There's plenty of people, Chaz, who are earning 10K per month. Let me show y'all something. Let's see. Get out of that. So one of the things that you got to understand is money doesn't care who spends it. Diana's Orchards. You have a lot of people out here. Ron the Stalker, so true. My side hustle is now dominating my business. I need to refocus or pick one and double down. Typically, when your side business is outperforming your main gig, it's time to cut the main gig out. Because once your business starts to get that kind of energy, you can go to the second level or perhaps just skip the second level and go straight to the third level. But it changed my life, man. It changed my life. Let's see. I don't see, I posted it really early this morning. So that could be why you don't see it. Hold on, give me a second.
<laughs> Call 91. Man, my blood pressure is fine. It doesn't put me to sleep. Don't be calling the police. That's funny. Let's see. That's funny. Seven minutes. That's wild. Seven minutes. Y'all hung out for seven minutes? That's wild. So let's see. Ambulances and stuff. That's funny. All right. So let's get back on with the levels. That's wild. All right, so with the levels, you know, the first level is very, very important. First level is it's going to be the hardest level to get. No, I was like, I'm like an old man. I take little naps during the day. I'm not going to end the stream. One of the things that happens like with this heart attack and all this other stuff is it is crazy how I take naps during the middle of the day. So no, nobody's got my number, man. And I also don't even have the phone in here, so that wouldn't have worked. So, one of the things that you got to look at is how to make that first nut of money, to get that first group of money. Because once you do that, this sets the whole thing off.
Ain't, ain't none of y'all ever have a grandfather or something that would just go to sleep in the middle of a conversation? That's funny. No, that's just something that happens. One of the uh, hangovers of the heart attack. Because... That's funny. That's hilarious. So going back to the topics, your, your first stage, you should try to equal your income. Then the second level is 10 to $15,000 per month. The third level is 100K. Fourth level is a million. But once you get to 10 to 15K, you'll be doing great. Robbie Rob. Yeah. <clears throat> My uncle did all the time. Oh, EMS. That's wild. <clears throat> and <clears throat> one of the things that you guys have to understand is, you know, things are a little different now. But the show must go on. How did we get to the first level? You got to grind, man. The first level is to equal your current income. Well, it happened two times. So, in a sleep study, Trust me, it ain't that serious. So one of the things that a lot of people don't seem to understand about this whole thing is it's going to take you some time. It's going to take you um, a good minute to hit that first level because no one is saying, hey, you should start a business, you should make some money, and then you've got to learn all of the processes and everything. Yeah, you can still purchase super credit. You can purchase anything that's on Hustle. I am not going to pre-sell a real estate course until I actually go out and pull the trigger. It wouldn't have worked. The phone isn't in this room. So once again, I'm, you know, cause I'm still trying to make some decisions on what way I'm going with the real estate because the Atlanta real estate market is hot. They got junk for, you know, 120, 130,000. Stuff that needs to be completely rehabbed. Chaz Johnson, you'll know when you made it to level one when your side hustle income equals your job income. Your job income is 2,500. Your side income is 2,500. You there.
that will open up the gates. Because one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is the power of making more money. When you make more money, everything changes. Everything um, just gets way better. Now the connection's strong, man. So let's do this. All right. So this is what's going on. You can get anything that's here on this site. Let's see. And tomorrow is Consulting Tuesday. And there's payment plans for some of the larger courses. And there was some I was going to show y'all. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. So we've got a lot of information for y'all. A lot of information. Let's see. Let's go back. All right. Let's get into this. People still, uh, you know, are people still tripping about this 24-year-old first generation? Dude is a hustler, man. Dude is a hustler. He got that drive. All right, so this is what I was going to show you. Everyone in the group, have you purchased what course was the most helpful? So... In the past 30 days to 2,500, help me look at numbers. Uh, this was the course that changed the game for me. Honestly, I see the largest increase in sales with my business with this one. So this is a serious course for those of you who want to hit level one and level two. 30 days to 2,500. And I think I have that on the payment plan. I'm not sure. But this will... So it's a lot there. Everybody who took this course when I was doing it live and applied the information, they made more money. And this is something that, you know, because this course is like five years old. And it still works. It will still get you where you need to be. It'll still get you up in the game, man. Because this is for people who don't know what they want to do. This uh, has a lot of quirky little stuff in there. They help you get acclimated to the sales process. There, there's a lot of killer stuff in here. A 
lot of stuff in here to help you get to that next level. Jockey B, thanks for the knowledge, OG. I just reached level one with my meal prep business. Congratulations. Took me two years. Started when I was 28. Saved to quit my job at 30. See, that's one of the things, and that's a, a success story, because this is one of the things that you're going to have to do to go ahead and be able to start getting hitting these levels because once you hit you know 10 to 15k most people that's life-changing money you know 15k per month it's hundred and eighty five thousand dollars a year it's life-changing money it's going to change up the game for you and one of the things is you have to focus on the money. So some of the stuff that's going to help you Let me go ahead and get rid of some of that stuff. Is the money managers, the basics of finance and wealth development. The Hustlers LLC, H Undergrad, Side Hustle University, all that stuff's going to be helpful. For you hustlers out there, the Hustlers Kung Fu book collection, that will help you. The Art of Holding. Uh, this is a 30, another 30 days, 2,500, focusing on physical products. So there's a plenty here to help you start leveling up, start going through these levels. Because once your, your side hustle or your, your, your up and coming business equals your job income, and you keep your job and you keep making that money, you, you, you get to the point where you can stack, where you can start putting money away for certain things. Asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson, that's deep. A lot of people need that. So this is what it's going to take for you to get to the next level. So this is just part of this. And it's going to take work. It's going to take you guys sitting down and focusing like a demon on the work at hand. Because once you pull this, this off, this opens up the door to the second level. And then the second level opens up the door to the third level. Because when you start making more money per month than most people make in a year, this life changes your money. And this is the thing. You ain't even a millionaire. Let's get this straight. You make $30,000 per month. That's only $360,000 a year. 
It will enable you to become a millionaire. It will enable you to take money and invest it in income producing assets. Let's say you make 360 a year. You got the five checking account blueprint. You live on 80. You bank, you, you're buying a new property every year. So, you know, for 10 years straight, you get your new property, cash out. Plus, there, there's some other stuff that we're going to get into when I get into real estate. So you were able to fund your own deals at 360. And you ain't a millionaire. But over time, that high income can make you a millionaire if the money is properly put in the right places. No, I don't have an Amazon business. I don't mess with Amazon. Yeah, 360 a year, it is great. It's life-changing money, man. When you're making 30000 a month, because what happens is the money comes in so quick, it's able to stack. Your bills don't just devour all the money unless you're a celebrity where you're going out and spending 80K for a gold chain or some, or some crap like that. But if you're a regular person, oh, it gets nice. It gets very, very nice. Because if you're a regular person with regular appetites, then you'll be amazed at how fast the money stacks up. Because, you know, one of the things that I want people to understand, it is possible. It won't be easy. It won't be overnight, but it is possible to crush level one, to move to level two, and potentially move into level three. It's just a matter of work. Robbie Rob, yeah, 360 a year managed well is enough to change your. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you ain't a millionaire. Because when I hear people like, you know, something, something, millionaire Johnson and all this other stuff. They don't understand that between $180,000 a year and $400,000 a year is life changing money. It is life changing money. The things you can do with that. It's enough to change everything about your family. A lot of people just don't get it. All right. So once again, you know, these are like testimonials. Thirty days to twenty five hundred. This was this course that changed the game for me. Honestly, I see the largest increase in sales with my business with this one. So go ahead and get 30 days to 2,500 because that's going to help you get to the point where you can turn your hustle income into your job income. Just keep hustling, man. Pookie, hustler, have a lawn care and car detail business. Only made 8K this year. Man, you're not hustling hard enough. There's something wrong. Are you in a jacked up market? Because the lawn care and car detail services by themselves should be more than enough to crush eight. It should be twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. That's where you should be.
Maybe you don't know how to market. Maybe you don't know how to close sales. I don't know. Oh, you have a full-time job, too. You, you should have said that in the beginning. That makes a big difference. It makes all the difference in the world, really. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys. Go ahead and revisit 30 Days to 2500, the Art of Uber Sales. Between those two courses, this should help you tremendously. It should help you go ahead and crush level one and position you for level two and level three. Lamar Dasher, that was this weekend. You're going to have to wait till next weekend, bro. All right, so with that, I will see you guys later.